We have just learned Nueces County commissioners are moving forward to stripe chief medical examiner Adele Shaker of all administrative duties. That is from one of the commissioners. This is part of continued fallout from that office that is expected to affect countless families here in the coastal. Bend. Absolutely. Not only that, we've also learned according to the Texas Code of Criminal Procedure, Adele Shaker cannot legally be the Nueces County Chief Medical Examiner, an office that he led since 2020. We told you last Friday of a deputy chief medical examiner's firing after she was found to not have a license to practice medicine here in Texas. Our Taylor Alanis joins us now live with an update. Taylor, Taylor, a medical examiner watchdog tells us that means any autopsy Shaker has performed since then is illegal and void, right? Katia, Pat, yes, shocking revelations that continue to come out of the ME's office. The start, there are no records that Dr. Adele Shaker took an oath to be a chief medical examiner. According to Texas Penal Code, because he didn't take an oath, his office legally doesn't exist. This would be a disaster for any county and the criminal justice system in that county. That's David Fisher, a medical examiner watchdog who talked to Chris Six. Fisher says in 1965, the attorney general's office ruled that until a medical examiner is appointed by the commissioner's court, is qualified and takes an oath, the authority to order inquests and autopsies falls on the justice of the peace. It affects not only families, but it, it, it also affects all defendants in criminal prosecutions where the autopsy was used that Shaker either assigned or one of his deputies underneath him signed. Fisher says now the JP can only order an autopsy and they can have any doctor in the county who has training in pathology perform them. Fisher says any death certificates, civil and criminal cases where Shaker conducted or signed off on an autopsy are invalid, void, illegal. The commissioner's court had no constitutional authority to appoint Shaker chief medical examiner. The reason being is that Ray Fernandez was still there as the chief medical examiner and Ray Fernandez was appointed and then in 2011 took the oaths of office. In other words, Shaker was already hired before Fernandez retired. Fisher says they didn't have the authority to do that. This comes after Deputy Chief Medical Examiner Sandra Leiden was fired when investigators discovered she did not have a license to practice medicine in Texas, and the state medical board couldn't find an emergency permit that would allow her to. She recently ruled the death of a 27-year-old woman as a homicide, but a second opinion from outside the county ruled the woman died of natural causes. Court documents show Shaker supervised and approved her autopsy and that he knew Leiden did not have the proper credentials when he hired her. Today, county commissioners met with the county attorney to see how they can move forward. Katia Pat. Getting here, I mean, a lot of information right there. What happens next? Going pad and the commissioners, as we mentioned at the top of the show, will move forward to strip Shaker of his administrative duties. And Commissioner Brent Chesney tells us that the court will now hire a search firm to look for multiple positions at the medical examiner's office. Unbelievable. Listen, yeah. you did reach out, by the way, to Shaker's attorney, right? Yeah, I did. We reached out to his attorney who says he's still interviewing Shaker and is waiting to talk to the county attorney to see how they can resolve this. For now, Taylor Alanis, Chris Six Investigates.